Arab queen Jennifer Kassar has died. Kassar passed on Thursday evening after a short illness. She was 66. Tributes for Mrs. Kassar, who was central to last year's First People's one-off public holiday, came from all sections of the country. Peter Christopher reports. Chief of the First Peoples, Ricardo Barrett Hernandez, said the passing of Carib Queen Jennifer Kassar caught everyone by surprise. None of us were expecting you know, her passing at this time. She was not ailing for very long. It was just a short period as far as I know, maybe about three weeks, that she started complaining, not feeling you know, 100%. And um, with regards to that and she, uh, medical checkups and so on, um, well, it got to this point. And even before she died, um, the day before she died, I saw her, and she wasn't showing any signs of that. He healed her contribution to the First Peoples community, calling her a queen that the modern age needed. Mrs. Casa brought to the community qualities that, um, you know, suited our time. I, I like to refer to her as truly a queen for our time, in that the times that we live in is quite different to many years ago. So that the queen of today would have to have the, the, the expertise and experience to suit today, which she did have. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley extended his condolences to the family of the Santa Rosa Queen in a release on Friday. He said she worked tirelessly to sensitize us to the role and contributions of the First Peoples community and continuously strive to preserve and revitalize Amerindian history and traditions. He called her a key advocate who lobbied for the one-off holiday to formally recognize her community's presence. The holiday was celebrated on October 13th last year and Queen Kassar led a procession through the streets of Arima during the event. Arima MP Anthony Garcia also shared condolences on the Carib Queen's passing. He said Mrs. Kassar was a symbol of strength, will and power within the First People and Arima community. Both the Prime Minister and Member of Parliament Anthony Garcia hailed Kassar's work in the public service from 1971. Arima Mayor Lisa Morris Julian and the Arima Borough Council also expressed their grief in a release. They described the loss as a blow to Arima's foundation rooted on the First People's contribution and said it will miss her contribution to this year's Arima Fest celebrations, Santa Rosa Festival and the First People's Heritage Week. Her funeral has been tentatively set for next week. Peter Christopher, C News.